hope you're fine. Hey, this is Pastor Don. I'm back here at the Joplin Food Tent. This is week number two and uh, came out here and there's a great guy that's cooking on the grill. He's been here for a little while. I want to talk to him, tell you a little bit about him. And here he is. His name is Bob, right? Bob Brown. Bob Brown. And Bob, you, uh, you've you been up here how long? I've been up here since uh, last Wednesday, one week. Since Actually, last? Oh, week and a day. Week and a day. Week and a day. And uh, I hear you like flew on a luxury jet to get up here, right? Nope. I rode a bicycle from New Orleans up through uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, helped out there, disaster relief, and went up through uh, Alabama and different places and shot over here to Joplin. Now, wait a minute. You said you rode a bicycle up here? Bicycle. A bicycle all the way from New Orleans? Yep. 65 pounds a year and uh, a lot of hills and a lot of heat. Why'd you do that, Bob? It's to glorify our Lord. Wow. How long were you in New Orleans? Uh, about five and a half years. Five and a half years. What were you doing in New Orleans? We started uh, the uh, food service for uh, the, hurricane, the hurricane disaster victims and uh, to feed the volunteers from all over the country, all over the world. And uh, we, were, we were feeding anywhere between uh, 1,000 to 5,000 people a day. So you've been doing a little bit of cooking in the last few oh, years, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's, uh, what's the most amazing thing to you about, as you've seen volunteers over the last five and a half years now, what, uh, what, what sticks in your heart and mind? The biggest thing is the joy in the folks that have lost so much. If you can be a beacon of light to them, just as Jesus says, be a beacon of light and a beacon of hope, and share your love and your joy with them, and understand what they've gone through, because I myself have gone through it. I lost my family, I lost my home, I lost everything in Hurricane Katrina. So you have two ways to go. You can either go down or you can go with the Lord, and I chose the Lord. Amen. And if we can always go and help our fellow brothers and sisters that have lost out, show a little bit of love, and always walk and walk in faith with the Lord, they they reset they receive it and they appreciate it and they love it and it changes their life. It's like a pebble going into a pond. The ripples keep on going out. The more love we can show our friends and our brothers and sisters, especially through disasters, it changes their lives so that they can become a beacon of light and hope for their brothers and sisters. And that's my mission. My mission is to help those who have lost out to be a beacon of light. We should all do the same thing. We should all be on our knees praising the Lord every single day and worshiping Him and growing Him and, and sh expressing what He loves in our hearts the best. And always ask the Lord to seek the great things in your heart, to blossom out and receive Him in all of His glory. And that's what we do. Outstanding. Hey, I appreciate it. I thank you for your service. You're welcome. I thank you, uh, thank you for your volunteerism here and all the way across the country. You're amazing. Hey, Thanks, Bob. We have to be what we have to be. There you go. We love God with all of our hearts and our souls and our spirits.